My name is Kayla Lehman. Cole Lambert. Sam Thurston. Alexis Tamborella, and tonight we are going to briefly present our project proposal for our senior project, which is optimizing gas, transient gas lift operations using liquid assisted gas lift for well unloading. The outline of our presentation is going to be the introduction, the execution plan, the resources required, the deliverables, and the budget. Uh, two common ways of uh, enhancing production uh, used today are first by drilling an injection well and injecting either gas or water uh, and displacing oil into nearby producing wells or by, uh, via artificial lift such as gas lift which uh, by injecting gas into a through the annulus and being inputted at bottom hole through a gas lift valve the incoming gas uh, reduces the density of the liquid column above which uh, reduces hydrostatic pressure at uh, the bottom of the well. The main reason why we wanted to pursue this project is because it enhances gas lift so it alleviates the need for additional compression capacity and for additional unloading valves so now we're dealing with water and gas so the water has a higher density so it's going to be easier to have a smaller compression capacity and save a lot more money also, we're reducing the high number of valves used in regular gas lift to just one gas lift valve at the end of the, the well. To begin our project, we started by using Renato's simulation data and kind of going off of that with our own ratios varying from zero to one on the gas fraction and keeping the liquid fraction constant. And we did that using the program Olga provided to us by Slumberjay. And after that, now we're gonna research unconventional and deep water um, wells and get our own parameters to use within the program. And we're also gonna be uh, using those same parameters and working on an experiment out in the PERT lab that we'll show you next. Uh, and then our ultimate goal for the project is to create a contour plot with the different liquid and gas ratios and maximum injection pressures that a company can use to find their ideal uh, parameters. And this is the example of uh, the experiment Renato created that we'll slightly modify while we work on the project uh, next semester. And to start off with our research, the unconventional side of it, um, gas sense is pretty much becoming one of the most popular methods used for artificial lift and unconventional. And this is due to its uh, ability to be unaffected by the high sand and free gas content, content that is uh, present in most of the unconventional wells. Uh, and it really goes through the kind of the same issues that, that conventional wells go through with the uh, high injection pressure needed for unloading and the multiple GLBs needed for unloading, which liquid assisted gas lift can uh, help alleviate those issues. Uh, in deep water cases, typical offshore wells in the deep water Gulf of Mexico uh, contain high geo uh, uh, producing fluids. Um, because of high uh, reservoir pressures, the there are always moderate to high produ uh, production rates. Because of this, it's uh, uncommon to have gas lift operations in the actual wellbore itself. Instead, uh, injection lines run from the production facility to the top of the riser to uh, assist in the production rate through the flow line. Uh, by taking uh, field data from uh, deep water uh, wells, and implementing gas lift operations such as liquid assisted gas lift would ultimately be able to enhance the ultimate recovery of uh, deep water wells. Um, so for the next up, for the upcoming semester, uh, beginning in January, we're going to uh, we have for the month of January we're going to finish running our Olga simulations, and at the same time preparing uh, the mo experimental model at Perth Lab to be run and to start run begin running those tests. Uh, during this, the entirety of the time, we'll be comparing the data from the experimental model and the data that we uh, achieved through the simulations and uh, compiling our final presentation and paper. So we have three different resources that's required to complete this project. The first thing is uh, Olga, so that was done, donated by Slumberjay. Um, and we've been meeting every week, um, twice a week in the LSU computer lab. Um, in order to vary different liquid and, and gas ratios to find our maximum injection pressure needed for each variation. 
So from there, we're gonna handpick successful variations that were used in Olga and go to the PERT lab and use Renato's model. Um, and there, we're gonna be running experimental data um, and being able to also determine the flow regimes as well. Um, each member is gonna start meeting three times a week uh, starting in January in order to get all the simulations finished. And then from there, we're gonna compare all of our simulation data and our experimental data and find a match in between there. Um, along with that, we're also researching different field data from unconventional wells and deep water wells. And we're going to compare the field data with the results that we've uh, achieved from the PERT lab and from Olga and hopefully find a way that a liquid assisted gas lift will be efficient for those fields. Um, the responsibilities of each member, so each member has equal parts. We're all meeting and um, doing Olga twice a week um, and we're also going to be meeting to run um, experiments in the PERT lab three times a week starting in January. And along with that, we split up deep water and unconventional wells um, between me and Alexis running deep water and Sam and Cole running unconventional. Along with that, um, I am technically the gatekeeper for our group and I meet with advisors and discuss anything that we need to do and let the group know um, any new updates or new uh, scheduled tasks that we need to complete. So the ultimate goal for our deliverable is to compile all of our Olga simulation data as well as our data accumulated from the PERT lab doing the experimental testing and all of the research field data from the unconventional deep water wells to create a 3D contour plot which will help us determine the maximum injection pressure for a given gas liquid ratio. Um, as of now, there is no budget needed. All of our resources and materials for the test well are available in the PERT lab, and our simulation software, Olga, has been donated by Schlumberger and is available in the PFT computer lab. Um, any expenses that are incurred throughout the semester will be funded by Kayla Lehman via her Halliburton scholarship. Thank you for your time.